<laughs> Remember how Stumpy Stevenson dived in to get you out and forgot to take his glasses yeah. off? <laughs> Wasn't it Stumpy who lost his false teeth? Uh, no, uh, man, that was a sucky delpo. Uh, right? yeah, yeah. He fell into a flower bed. <laughs> <laughs> what a night. Uh, uh, there was only one sober bloke here, and that was yours truly. <laughs> oh, like you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys. Hey, hey. How about this? Amanda and her panda. She's yours for the evening. Book early to avoid disappointment. The most popular girl in town. What's that then? It's a stripper, man. It's an ad for a stripper in the smalls. Look, you can see her vital statistics. Hey, the, the Ursa Conlises had one. Fantastic. They rubbed oil all over it. What for? For kicks, man. It was part of the act. No. <laughs> How much did she charge? 120 rand. 120? For one hour. Gee, like a robbery. I never heard any of us complaining. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cheeser, how much have we got in the kitty here? What are you getting at? 250, 300 rands? A bit more, maybe. Ah, man, we've got money for Africa. Let's spend some of it on a man and a panda. Yeah, yeah. What, here? Yeah, in this bar? No, you can't. What? It's against the law. Ach, Ach, nonsense, Jesus. Well, what about McCray? Well, how do you imagine he'd react? Ach, man, he'll never know. We'll keep it a secret, just yeah, the four yeah, of us. Yeah. Yeah, and afterwards, oh bloody mine will know. Nonsense. <laughs> well, there's not much McCray can do about it then, is there? Oh, just fire me, that's all. Hey, but who cares about the little Ach, thing Listen, like man, that? you didn't know anything about it, understand? It came right out the blue. That's right. Yeah, and next thing you knew, it was all over. You tried to stop it, but the Oaks wouldn't let you. The Oaks said they'd throw you in the head first and the slimes down. Yes, yeah, so what could you do? What's the latest tally? 800,000. There's a lot of loose hanging in those old drives. We're doing our best to clean it up. We don't want it falling on someone's nut. All right. Hey, a million fatality free shifts. Mm -hmm. Us old mine's never done it. If we can get this close, we can make it. I want that millionaire shield. Rand for two hours. What do you mean a lot? Now, hold it, Barney. Now, listen, Barney, I had a hell of a time getting any of the girls to do this job. You, you take it or leave it. Yeah, all right, all right, bring me back so long. Pig. Not you, friend, him. You, uh, Mr. Ocean? Aussie Ocean at your service. What can I do you for? Well, uh, a couple of my mates saw an advert for stag parties. You know, something different. A little spicy? <laughs> yeah, well. Ah, what goes on must come off. You come to the right place. Where are you from? Village Reef. Where's that? It's a gold mine. Miners, eh? Tough guys. We had a show once for some construction workers. Uh -huh. Oh, that was something else. You'd have thought they'd never seen a broad before. <laughs> right now, what have you got in mind? Well, uh, we saw this advert for Amanda and her panda. Oh, you can pick them, eh? Mandy's about the best in the business. 150 rand an hour and she's all yours. 150? But I heard 120. 120 for the panda, an extra 30 for the panda. You mean a real panda? Please, what sort of an outfit do you think this is? I run a decent clean business. Now, when do you want her? Uh, Friday the 20th. Friday the 20th? Yes, I can fix you up 7.30 to 8.30. Uh -huh. 9.30, she's on somewhere else. OK, fine. Right. Cash in advance. No dough, no show. Go on, tell. Listen, I'm telling you, man, this bird's got it all. You saw her. Only a picture. Is, is she really coming in? It's fixed up. Hell. Don't get excited, Ted, with your luck, you'll probably end up with a panda. <laughs> How much? 150. Oh, 150? Hey, no, man, come on. It's a con lease has only paid 120. Man. Sir, it's extra for the panda. Who needs a panda? It's part of the act. You know, like the one with the python. So what's a panda do? Jesus, what's on your mind? What's on my mind? You can't fool me not after 30 years. Come on, what is it? There's nothing on my mind. Oh, yes, there is. Okay, you're so clever. You tell me what it is. Something is worrying. Come on, Chesa, out with it. For 30 years you've told me everything. You're going to stop telling me now. Ach, it's nothing. You've been groaning in your sleep. You haven't done that since you blew up in a crazy lounge. 
I never blow up their lounge. You blew up their sewerage works and you damaged the furniture. Is it something in the box? There's nobody here. Feel free to speak. It's Nick Wilmot. <laughs> I might have guessed that. What's he done this time? He hasn't done it yet. Oh? It's an idea he's cooked up for the stag party. Sort of entertainment idea. Go on. What kind of idea? Well, it was his idea that they should get a girl along. Uh, an entertainer. A girl? In the bar? What kind of girl? Well, just a girl. They advertise in the papers. Uh, Nick saw the ad in the paper. You don't mean that. I know nothing about it. Nobody's told me anything and I don't know a thing. You just told me. Well, I'm not supposed to know. But you're going to let them do it right here in the wreck. Look, I know about these stripper shows. Oh! Well, uh, I mean, uh, uh, I've heard about them. Uh, they just a laugh, that's all. I don't see nothing to laugh at. It's a bit of fun. It's harmless. It's disgusting. It's harmless, Connie. You call it harmless? Just you wait until the wives get to hear about it. Hello, Mrs. Clay. What can I do for you? No, it's no good, Dirky. Now, Amanda's fully booked for the 20th. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I've got a show at 5, another one at 7.30, another one at 9.30. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she'll hardly have them on before they're off again. Yeah, yeah, I told you, yeah. 150 rand an hour. You what? You'll pay double? Well, if you put it like that, it's an offer I can't refuse. Yes, I'll let you have the 7.30 show. Hey? No, it's only a bunch of miners. I can handle that, don't worry. Yeah. Have I ever let anybody down? Fortunately, Len doesn't really drink. Oh, the odd spot, that's all. I'm glad he doesn't like these awful stag parties. Oh, they're wild. Some of these men just behave like little boys in long trousers. The things they get up to. <laughs> Sometimes I think little boys behave much better. If they donated the money to the charity committee, it'd be different. But every year they got to go one better. Last year, it was the swimming pool. Yeah. Can you imagine grown-up men jumping in with all their clothes on? Well, Len's taking me out on Friday. I don't want him anywhere near the place. You're wise. Especially this year. Oh? What's happening this time? Um, Jesus would kill me if he knew I told you, but... Um, oh? They're going to have one of those striptease women. I decided I'd be at the Black Reef section for the first blasting. There's no need, Mr. McRae. We can handle it. I didn't say you couldn't, Basil. I simply said that I would be there. I have an inspection to make and I'll do the two together. What time are you aiming for? 1.30. I'll be there as well. Right. We'll do the inspection afterwards. All right, gentlemen, that's all for this morning. Hi. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. How's it then? Not down in the dumps, as they say. I mean, the mine dumps. Yeah, well, don't laugh. We can't all be humorists. <laughs> I've uh, come to pay for Friday night. Friday night? For Amanda. We booked her Friday the 20th. Remember, you wrote it down. Oh, you construction blokes. Miners. Yeah, miners, miners, <laughs> yes, that's it. I've been trying to get you on the phone. Uh -huh. Bad luck, old sport. She's in bed. In bed? Yeah. You see, she did a show in the sticks, and the slobs got carried away, and they threw her in the fish pond. And she can't even swim. Sir? Flu. She's got the flu. The doc says a week in bed. Can you beat it? I know it's bad luck at this time. It's like going out in the street and throwing away your loot. Yeah, but what about us? Luck of the draw, friend. Well, isn't there another stripper? These girls are like gold at this time. I don't believe you. You've double booked us or something. Can I? Oh, but if one of my artists goes down with flu, don't pick on me. I hope they throw you in the fish pond next time and keep you under. That's game to them, no? We're six down. Not surprised the way I'm played. <laughs> You'll never guess what I heard this morning. Well, don't keep us in suspense. The stag party tomorrow night. That terrible thing they save up for. Oh, it's only once a year, Joan. Yeah, but this year it's a little more complicated. There's going to be a strip show. Stripper? Ah, there's initiative for you. I told the guy I didn't believe him. 
What can you do with a shark like that? Didn't take your other leg? Well, we got to do something. The word's got around. The guys will skin us alive if we don't deliver the goods. Well, every other strip in town's booked up. I work my feet off trying to find one. But there's got to be someone. Hey, Jup. Hold on a sec. I've got an idea. Maybe Wendy can help us. Yeah. Your uh, dad won't rock about the blue, will he? No, he's down at the mine whipping up the slaves. You can bank on that. Have you come to see me? <laughs> yes. Don't tell me. Let me guess. You've come to borrow a couple of rands. Wrong. You've come to pay back the last loan? Since you mentioned it, no. <laughs> but guess again. Don't tell me you've come to confess your undying love for me. Afraid not. <laughs> Pity. Oh, I don't know. You tell me. Wendy, love, I know what I'm going to ask is a lot. But I'm in a bit of a spot. Please, I need your help. Have you ever heard of the GM wanting to watch something like this? Oh, you know, McRae likes to be in on the action. Does he think we'll mess it up or something? No, he likes to show an interest. The GM's got his job, we've got ours. He should keep his nose out of other people's business. What's he know about blasting anyway? Except what he learned from a university textbook. He's done his stint underground. For how long? Till he married a chairman's daughter and got kicked upstairs. Give him his due. This mine's a whole lot more productive now than it was before he came. Darn sight safer, too. He's a good administrator. Didn't say he wasn't. And he's got the class all right. But when it comes to getting your overalls dirty... <laughs> sure. <laughs> all right, chaps. Let's get going. for the men to come up from the 33rd and 34th levels. You can in about 10 minutes. Carry on. Textbooks was a bezel. Another inch, man. I'm telling you, that's how close it was. Another inch, and nobody could have stopped it. Not more than that. If I'd been there, you wouldn't have seen me for dust. Yeah, like the rest of us. Clay, too. I don't know which of us ran the fastest. Happened to me once. Steel beam fell down and cut the cord. Nobody waited around to watch the fireworks. I was a long way up the drive and still going when it went off. <laughs> Took me three days to get back. <laughs> <laughs> but, darling, I don't understand. Why didn't you and Buller run with the others? There were 45 men in the lower level. If the blast had got off, the nitrous fumes could have killed them all. And if you couldn't have cut the cord? 
then I wouldn't have been here to order my rather good-looking daughter about. Oh, darling. I gather must be here. Hey, Dubi. What time's she coming, man? Fifteen minutes. She's coming through the billiard room. Hey, boys. Fifteen minutes and she'll be here. You say you knew yesterday? Why didn't you tell me then so I could put a stop to it right away? You say Wendy's gone down there? She said earlier she wanted to be in on the action. Her words. Look, I'm sorry, darling. I heard about it at Bridge yesterday and I forgot about it. What's so important about a stripper, anyway? What's so important? The police did a raid on a place in Johannesburg just the other day. We held to pay at head office if this sort of thing happened there. Oh, who's going to complain to the police? Well, the police know these girls. They could have followed her here. Oh, you're imagining things. I'm being sensible. I don't want trouble with the police or with head office. You're going to stop it? Of course I'm going to stop it. brings you at great expense the one and only the girl who takes it off fastest and keeps it off longest tantalizing to Lulu and a teddy I'm sorry. Oh, oh, I'm sure you're all saying what the hell does he think he's doing, but in the interest of this mine, in the interest of all of us, I must ask this young lady please to dress and leave. Oh, oh, no. I'm sorry, but I cannot allow it. Would you please mind dressing and going, Miss... Uh... Hey, Nick! Nick, I couldn't find the light switches! The room is locked! Nick, Nick, Nick. You? Nick, what a you. bloody stupid thing to do, Wilmot. What's the meaning of this? No. Dup uh, uh, Duplicy and I arranged for a stripper and it fell through, so I thought I'd just, uh, instead of letting the guys down, I thought... What I'd made you think you could get away with this? Oh, well, he's going to turn the lights off as soon as the critical moment came, and then... Oh, no, 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 oh, it, was money. Money. it was a big joke! It was a big joke! No, what's the money? I've got the money. I've got the money. I'll take that. Thank you. Why I'd rather meet you. I'm just going to change into something. Oh, Nick! I thought I recognised that dress. I'd better be going, lovers. Uh, before you go, Mr. McRae, uh, won't you have a drink on the house? Just to show there's no hard feelings. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, 
Hey, look like a charm. It's a real catch. Wow. Hey, I'm glad it wasn't there. I would have died. <laughs> I didn't suspect a thing until your father were going to stop the show. Oh, no, typical, honestly. Say that again. Look, I'd better get back inside. Your dad's still there, and uh, we've got some unfinished business, okay? Okay. <laughs> you have still got some lipstick on. Try it. I think you all know what happened at the Black Reef section today. Yeah. yeah. I want to say that I think Mr. McCray did a very brave thing. Yeah. 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 Some of you guys wouldn't be here now if it weren't for him and Mr. Wilmot. Mm. Yeah, that's true. And I don't need to say where those guys would have gone. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a lot of guts to come in here and break up a strip show, such as it was. Yeah. Yeah. What a strip show. I think that Mr. McCray is owed some thanks, and I think we should show it now. Let's Hooray. give him three cheers. Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hey, you've got all this extra cash. Won't you have another drink with the boys? I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Well, certainly I'd like that. Um, perhaps the uh, young lady would care to join us. Singing, I am.